So let's discuss this further. I'm joined by film critic Philip Bergson. Philip, um, good to have you on the show. A lot of British talent, I have to say. I don't want to be biased here, but there is an awful lot of British talent nominated. What's Tremendous your thinking? Tremendous performances. We're surely going to go home with something, whether it's Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Alan Turing or My Money's on Eddie Redmayne as Stephen Hawking and lots of actresses as well. Do you think, because um, the theory of everything, Eddie Redmayne, I mean, it was just an extraordinary performance. It's a brilliant performance and it's a very good film. Don't forget Felicity Jones, who plays his real life wife in the story, is also nominated. It's, um, I think, a film that shows something in important and intelligent, but in an entertaining way. A lot of emotion in it. But then Benedict Cumberbatch, Imitation Game, wow. Also a historical background, a true person, a well-known performer, very liked, and a good cast. There, Keira Knightley has a nomination as well, and I think she deserves it as a supporting actress, as one of the spy uh, code breakers in Bletchley. Interesting, but I heard somebody say that the Brits, uh, the Brits being nominated, um, in particular Cumberbatch and Eddie Redmayne, they might cancel each other out, and Michael Keaton might just slip through. I think Michael Keaton certainly deserves it, because it is a comeback performance for somebody who's been a great actor, and the film he's in, Birdman, is also very clever. It uses uh, allusions to a kind of Batman figure in the movie. It's very witty, very clever. But then I don't think Steve Carroll is out by a nose. There's a tradition that anybody with a fake nose gets an Oscar <laughs> and he's a brilliant performance as again another true life peculiar person in Foxcatcher and here's an actor who's known more for comedy. Yes, this is, a, this is a, describe it. I'm, I'm finding I'm difficulties in describing what this um, tries to encapsulate, Foxcatcher. It's a very strange and but very involving film. It also has a nomination for Mark Ruffalo, Ruffalo playing one of the, the twin the, the brothers who were wrestlers, also a true story, of course, and it is in, absolutely engaging. What I think the whole spread of films this year shows is quality and films for adults and not just teenage explosion movies. These are rich and interesting films across the board in the, many of the categories. But one that we expected maybe to be better received or was well received but didn't be nominated as much was Selma. Yes, this is, I'm afraid, I do think it's worthy but dull. It has a brilliant <laughs> English actor playing Martin Luther, but there's somehow some confusion even about the title. When I first went to see it, I thought it was his wife or it was a lady and not the place where something important happens. It's, it's a worthy film. Uh, I don't think it will do as well as people thought it was going to. Philip, thank you very much. You're absolutely, um, without reservation, very honest about your <laughs> interpretations of the film. Philip, brilliant to speak to you. Philip Bergson, film critic, of course, uh, not until the 22nd, the actual night.